And the last supplement that kind of caught my attention years ago, and it's one of the like most well-researched supplements out there is actually sodium bicarbonate. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a supplement that you can buy in any grocery store, like as a powder. Um, it's also known sometimes as baking powder, um, or baking soda. Um, it's kind of one of those things that is used not only like in sports nutrition, but also like cooking and uh, cleaning and yeah. I don't know what else. Uh, Clean your washing um, machine as well. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But yeah, it's, it's a supplement that can improve performance. And basically what it does is help to uh, buffer um, the blood. So it kind of prevents or um, reduces the acidification of the blood. So basically normalizes the pH of the blood. And by doing that, you basically get less acidic um, environment in the muscle cells. Um, and yeah, the evidence is pretty strong that it improves, per improves performance. And we use it in cyclists for like prologues or time trials uh, that are relatively short. Um, and the evidence, yeah, as I said, is really, really strong that it actually helps. Um, there is less evidence, however, whether for each to be used as an aid to improve adaptations. Um, and actually, there is some pretty compelling evidence, in my opinion, um, showing that if you use sodium bicarbonate before hard training sessions, interval training sessions, you can actually improve adaptations. Um, two like, kind of mechanisms come to my mind here. And the first one is basically, yeah, well, it's, if, if it improves performance, this means that you can push harder. Um, you can do like five times eight minute intervals at a higher power output. So basically you will get a bigger stimulus just from doing that. Um, yeah. And the other one is that even if you equate the work performed, like the intensity, you fix the intensity, um, then what you see is that adaptations still kind of, or those signaling pathways um, are triggered to a higher degree um, if you use sodium bicarbonate. And this is probably because mitochondria doesn't really like, or, or mitochondria don't really like acidic environment. Um, and this can actually in the long term lead you to better adaptations. Um, the biggest problem with sodium bicarbonate is that it can be bad on the stomach, on the um, gastrointestinal tract, um, mm -hmm. and you have to kind of get the timing right. Um, you have to have the time to ingest it. So we usually start like three hours beforehand, small doses in taps rather than powder, um, like five grams at a time to really make sure that we minimize the risk of having any GI discomfort. Um, and then during the ride, uh, you can actually have the um, energy unit drink buffer that we kind of develop just with this in mind to kind of not only um, not like kind of low the body with bicarbonate, but rather to like kind of um, sustain the amount of bicarbonate um, in the bloodstream. Yeah, um, pump it up over the course of the session, or the yeah, device. yeah. I mean, I, it's like it's a pretty complicated science behind it. Uh, we could talk for hours, but yeah, it, it's something that people can use, and I think it's very useful. The only like problems, other than um, potential GI discomfort is that you're basically eating a lot of sodium. Um, and for people with high blood pressure, this might not actually be the best idea. And also be prepared to be very thirsty after such a session. And that the next day in the morning, uh, you might actually um, have more kilograms than usual just because of the water retention. Um, so it's probably not the best thing to do it like day after day, but like a couple of days a week or once a week when you have like the key session of the week or the key yeah. race of the week, it makes sense to actually use it. Um, and because before, because you have to take it in advance or to, to get the most out of it, it's probably not really suitable for uh, morning sessions either. No. Yeah. So an evening session, the uh, dose is normally, is it 0.3 uh, grams per kilo? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So spreading that out over an afternoon, so you have a dose with your afternoon meal and then small um, 
five gram portions of it throughout the afternoon you're going to come into the the race and then um i guess it makes sense taking some during the race itself because it's you're, you're more looking you're going to get the effect of that really hard effort at the end of the race aren't you so that's yeah. where the the carbohydrate and um bicarb together makes sense during during the session or during the race as well yeah so nice. um just yeah we'll add the link to a protocol uh that i wrote down uh into the description of this podcast so right. um you can check it out there <laughs>